The treatment of rib fractures had not changed for thousands of years until really the advent of uh, mechanical ventilation and positive pressure ventilation, which was probably about 50 years ago. A majority of rib fractures do not need to be fixed. However, over the past 20 years or so, uh, there have been significantly increasing interest in operative rib fixation. Our techniques to, uh, to fixing ribs, generally we try to do as minimally invasive as possible, and this has really almost revolutionized the way we do the procedure. Now in the elderly patients, there's no question that uh, rib fractures tend to affect them even more than their younger counterparts. And you know, obviously there's multiple reasons for this. You know, the most common being that, you know, older patients generally don't have as much uh, physiologic reserve. So they succumb to, uh, to all the uh, sequela from rib fractures, i.e. pneumonia, atelectasis, uh, pulmonary insufficiency, and sometimes even requiring uh, mechanical ventilation and uh, tracheostomy. And um, in studies that have been done in the past, up to 60% of patients with a uh, uh, clinical flail chest are not able to return to their same level of functioning even at the five-year level. Um, it's for these reasons that uh, we took a specific interest in, in rib fixation. And you know, for the longest while in medicine, there had been sort of a tendency to not be as aggressive in older patients because they may not be able to tolerate these operations as well as their younger counterparts. However, what we found is that um, we actually need to be more aggressive in these patients because of their lack of physiologic reserve. Um, and the earlier that we can get the ribs fixed and get them breathing and out of bed, the better they do. And I think it ties in very nicely with our G60 program because it just, you know, once again shows that, you know, the sooner we get these done, the better. And uh, many of them are actually able to go home as opposed to going to nursing centers or, um, or re inpatient rehab centers. And we're clearly delineating this in, in the data that we've collected thus far.